Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another video. This is the third video in the series where we pay five artists to make Leviathan concepts for Subnautica. Today, in Spooky Edition. This time we're taking a kind of different approach. The last two times we always paid a very cheap artist and then went up in price until we got to a very expensive one. This time I thought we'd get a bunch of artists around $50 to see what they can come up with. And just real quick, our favorite artist, Emmanuel, is now Fiverr's choice. We did it, guys. Thanks to everyone who went on Fiverr and commissioned them. They are awesome. And they were also now starting at $50, which is definitely earned. And way better than the five they were originally at. <laughs> so let's go and find some artists. I just looked for creature concept, and I think we should be able to find a few good ones here. I won't be commissioning any ones that we have already commissioned in the past, so just completely new ones this time. So this looks like an amazing artist for creature concepts. And as you can see, they have done a bunch of them in the past already and they all look really good. So I think we can go with a sketch concept with flat colors for $55. We get it in three days, which is extremely fast and one revision. As for the references which they are getting, we are going to tell them this. Everyone gets the exact same instructions and they can all come to me for further explanations in case anything is not clear. Hi. I'd like you to create a concept art for a leviathan, aka very large creature, for the game Subnautica. It's an underwater survival game, so the leviathan should be aquatic. You're free to take creative liberties, there are only a few major points I want included. It should have tentacles, it needs a way of attacking the player or their submarine, and this one in caps lock because artists really like to not do this one for some reason. Please include descriptions of the anatomy slash abilities and how they could attack. Attached are a few references of the type of concept I'm looking for. Thanks, Aki. And the two concepts I will attach are this one, which is an early Shadow Leviathan concept, and this one from a really talented artist over on ArtStation. I will link their post in the description. It is just so good, I love it. <laughs> and let's start the order. I think we'll be commissioning around three to four artists, so this should be around $150 to $200 worth. Which is quite a lot of money, so I'm not sure if I'll get it all back, but if you want to help me, make sure to like and share this video. Now this one is a dangerous one since they don't have any reviews and I don't think have done any gigs, but they include a initial concept and that's basically it. Then again, the art they have here on their profile looks pretty good and I feel like I'm gonna give them a try. So we're gonna go get their premium package so we get a shaded and colored creature concept. Again. Everyone gets the exact same descriptions for the creature concepts, but anyone can come to me and ask for any details they need to. And let's start our order. Let's see if we can find two more artists, so we should have a total of 200 bucks used. Now this is an adorable creature concept, and if this is the style we're going for, then it could be a really cool and unique one as well. So I feel like I'm gonna give this guy a try as well. A fully realized design of your creature concept with line, weight, color, shading and texture. That sounds awesome. We get a high resolution print and full body as well, which we definitely need. For this artist, I will include that we want a digital version of this concept since they do both digital and traditional art. So far, this artist has only done humanoid characters, so I feel like it might be really interesting to see what they can do with a creature concept. They do have a price here at $40, so I think we're going to commission this guy as well. We get three characters, which is interesting. Maybe instead of three characters, we could just get three different angles or three different parts highlighted that are interesting about the concept. So here I will include that they should probably try to get three different angles or important parts of the creature instead of three different characters. And let's start our last order. So I think the last of these is going to arrive on October 28th, as we can see right here. So we will see each other just a few days before Halloween. I might even actually get this video out on Halloween, so that might be an interesting video. You know what, since it's going to be Halloween, I'm going to commission one more artist for something special. A while ago, I was browsing Twitter and found Trix, and they made a fan-made Reaper Leviathan concept for Subnautica, which caught my attention. They tagged me in it and told me that if I ever did another paying artist to design Leviathan's video, I should come hit them up. So, that's what I did. Now let's go give them a special assignment just for Halloween. Hi Tricks! As promised, I'm making another video about Leviathan concepts. 
I'd like you to create a Halloween-themed Leviathan for Subnautica. It could include pumpkins, have a halloween -y color scheme, maybe wear a witch hat, whatever you like. You don't need to use any of my suggestions either. The only important part is that it's an aquatic Leviathan and has some tentacles. Yes, we're already going on the tentacles this time. <laughs> Make sure to give the description of its abilities or important bodily features on the concept as well. Let me know your price. Thanks, Aki. And with that, I will get back to you in just a few seconds. Well, for you. For me, it's going to be like two weeks, but you know. See ya. <laughs> Actually, this seller cancelled because they had way too much work to do. So instead, I think we're going to go for this one. The sketches and concepts they made over here look amazing. And we can get the premium package for $50. We get seven days delivery, high resolution, color, and full body. This seller apparently doesn't let me actually give them a text description of what I want. So I guess I'm going to have to send them a text document. <laughs> That's interesting. But again, they get the exact same description. And here we go. And here we are. It's two weeks later and I've gotten all my concepts back. So let's go take a look at them. Now the first one was by this artist. And I even just realized they made another Subnautica concept, the Glow Snake. So they were pretty well trained for this task. And here's what they came up with. Now the first impression is, uh, it's pink. <laughs> this reminds me of the Chelly from Below Zero a lot, which could be good and bad. Now personally, I don't think pink fits a Leviathan, but there are plenty of people who are scared of the Chelly, so I guess that might just be me being weird. This creature usually goes for much smaller prey that can easily fit in its mouth as it eats its prey whole. Whenever needed, it uses its tentacles to capture and hold onto its prey while swallowing it down. Now we even have some previous concept ideas for this creature in the bottom left over here, and I think they chose the best one for it. Again, I might have gone with a different color theme, but overall I really like the creature and I think it fits Subnautica quite well. Now this artist didn't actually give it a name or any special abilities, so if there's anything you guys can come up with, make sure to drop it in the comments down below. Next up, this artist, who mainly did humanoid creatures before. This is what they came up with. Now, I absolutely love this creature concept. We have multiple different angles and we can even see how it attacks. Now, this artist also didn't give this creature a name, so if you have an idea, make sure to include it in your comment. But let's go take a closer look at this. So it seems to be quite a large creature. Compared to the Seamoth, I'd say maybe about the size of a sea dragon, actually. It can charge up and shoot an energy beam from its mouth, which I think is a really interesting concept. That might mean that the perimeter defense system, which is like your main defense against Leviathans, might be completely useless against this one, since all it might do is just make it stronger. I really like that idea because that's something we haven't had in Subnautica really. The only other creature that's immune to it is the Amp Eel, and that's not really a threat to you most of the time. I really like this concept and this is perfect for Subnautica if you ask me. I would love to see this in the game. The next artist was this one. And here's what they came up with. This is the Shira Wazy Leviathan. I probably butchered that name, I'm sorry. But it means Iron Head, so I'll just be calling it Iron Head Leviathan from now on. There is a bunch of information here which I really like. And they even included the base speed of this Leviathan. So it apparently can sprint for five minutes, so if you get seen by it, you're probably dead. There's no way you outrun this. I really like the concept and I think it would fit quite well in Void actually, together with the Ghost Leviathans. But again, there are no like special abilities, it just bites you. So if there's any special ability you guys think this might have, make sure to include it in your comment as well. At this point, you might as well just make a massive comment with all the ideas for the different Leviathans I show. So. Go ahead and do that after you've seen all of them. Now this artist sadly had to cancel the commission halfway through because of some family matters, so we didn't actually get a finished concept. But we still did get a work in progress concept which I will look at now. Now this Leviathan doesn't have a name again, so you guys know what to do. This creature was designed to feed on reef backs in Subnautica. It was inspired by trilobites, horseshoe crabs and stingrays while incorporating my requirement of the tentacles. The idea was that it would be the same size as a reef back and lie in wait on the sandy floor. Its primitive eyes would sense changes in light levels as the reef back swam overhead and it would swim up and attach itself to the bottom of the reef back's exposed belly. I really like this idea because 
It makes sense that the Reefback's top is like a really hard shell, but the bottom would be vulnerable. And having a creature that takes advantage of that weakness is really cool. Using its mandibles, it would hook on while its mouth slowly ate away at the Reefback's flesh. That sounds terrifying, I would not want to be a Reefback. You're basically slowly being eaten alive. Due to its poor eyesight, it would get confused as the player's ship swam overhead and try to latch on and attack them the same. So yeah, if you get out of your Cyclops and see this thing on it, eating away at the hull, I think I'd be terrified. So of course this is not a finished commission, but I feel like this artist spent a lot of time trying to make sure it fits into the game, and I really appreciate that. I feel like if they managed to finish this, it would have been amazing. And now for a special guest, Trix. They came up with this. Oh my god, I love this. If you remember, the requirement was to make it like Halloween-y, so I think they did that with the color scheme perfectly. They even provide a little description of its abilities, so let's go take a look at that. They've been calling it the Cloak Leviathan so far, but wanted to ask you guys if you had any better ideas. So make sure to include that in the comments down below. This is a nocturnal leviathan that only becomes active at night. During the day it stays buried on the sea floor and doesn't emerge until it's dark. Most of the time, the only bioluminescent part of its body is the small lure at the end of its head fin. And that's what it uses to attract small schools of fish. But it doesn't actually eat those fish. It follows them and waits for a predator to attack them, and then it attacks the predator. I really like this idea, and while it's a little bit complicated, I feel like it would make a lot of sense and give a lot of depth to the Subnautica ecosystem. Now, you might have noticed that it kind of glows. Well, it can heat up the underside of its belly and wings and wraps around its prey to basically cook it alive. <laughs> that is terrifying. Now, this is of course a very small leviathan, probably even smaller than a reaper, but if it manages to grab the player with its tentacles, pulls it in and then wraps around it, uh, yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> I really like this concept, and I would love to see this in the game, and I think this is probably my favorite. Then again, the other ones were amazing as well, but you guys let me know which of these was your favorite in the comments down below. But that was already it again. Happy Halloween, I hope I get this out on Halloween, otherwise this would be very embarrassing. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. Huge shout out to my Aki Cod leaders on YouTube and Patreon, Callum Wally, Capital Clyde, Jeff the Sea Dragon, just Archeo and Morgan Panda. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Good bye!